What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I have quite a simple tutorial for you all and I'll be showing you all how you can get the free Die Shockwave in Cold War's very first map, D Machine. The steps to this are very simple, it's nowhere near as complicated as the Rai K84 and you all know how much I hate doing that side easter egg in Firebase Z but without wasting any more time let's get started. So the first step to doing this easter egg is of course you need to have the power on if you don't know how to do that you literally just have to open a few doors till you get to the power room or eat the reactor room and then open this door and once more just like the old days you just flip the switch. Once you turn on the power you will have to wait for a megaton to spawn and he actually comes in quite early i believe he comes in at around seven so once he appears then you just want to drop him so once you split him drop his two children as well he's going to drop a key card you want to pick up that key card then take it to where deadshot is on the top floor so it'll be like the control room i guess and insert the key card and once you do the drawer will open up and you can now pick up what's called the die remote control after you've attained that you want to go back to spawn and come to this room where the og notched totem was started in and then as you can see in this little hole there's a dead zombie in there and if you jump you can see he's holding the old soul legend Legendary ultra trash waste of space wonder weapon the die shockwave i'm sorry that it sounds weird considering that i'm explaining to you how you can get it for free but only in those circumstances will i allow myself to pick one up anyways it will prompt you to press your reload button on the side but make sure you have a train of zombies with you because what this activates is a zombie soul sucking effect which is basically the power of the die shockwave so you're technically using that remote control to activate the die shockwave that's in there by making it suck up ammo and then once you have a solid amount of zombies sucked in by this feature and by the way if you didn't put it together yet you just have to make the zombies walk in front of this little wall anyways you'll know when you're done because it will prompt you to press your reload button once more and this will make the die shockwave shoot its ammo out to break the wall open and that's when you can pick it up and use it for yourself if you want my honest advice just don't pick it up at all and leave it there like look what happened to the guy who's holding it you don't want to end up like him or her or whatever the proof is right in front of you this man was alive or something i'm sure his last words would have been fuck this sorry ass wonder weapon like you don't see the raiki or cerberus in a dead man's hand only this one sorry i got a little off topic there but anyways that's all you have to do to get the free version of the die shockwave in d machine aside from it being what it is i love the fact that they always incorporate a little side easter egg to get the maps one open for free because they know times can be tough i will be uploading more tutorials around zombies soon and if this video helped you out in any way then support the channel and leave a like and comment down below for a specific video request because i will try my best to get to each and every one of them and for real if you're not subscribed already then what the fuck are you doing i'm joking if you're not subscribed already then go on ahead and subscribe because for each sub we get we're one step closer to my goal to reach 1000 subscribers and that would mean the world to me plus i got a litty video dropping for that soon when i touch that milestone anyways i will be uploading every single day until next time i'll catch you on the next one peace